This short presentation will show how in Oasis AM neural networks can be used to predict the value of a process variable that is part of a alkylation unit. Alkylation unit is a small unit part of a complete oil processing installation as depicted here. And to do this uh, presentation we'll need data. Data in this case will be provided under the form of a CSV file since we're not connected to the real process. This file contains about 3000 rows and each row has 30 uh, variables defined with 30 different values, the first and one being the timestamp. As you can notice here, each row is separated by 30 minutes. This data has been analyzed by a uh, Ureason partner to uh, do some data mining uh, analysis and in this case, for instance, det determine the uh, influential variables for the uh, parameter that we are going to predict, in this case the temperature indicated uh, indicator 1, 2, 3. And as you can see here, these um, data mining uh, tools have revealed that five of these variables are influential variables and they have helped these partner also to build a uh, neural network that we have inside OASIS re-implemented using our own neural network blocks. So we have here a rule that takes five inputs, which are these five influential, influential variables. And inside this block you can see the details of the neural network where you have a layer here consisting of five nodes and you have another layer here again with five nodes but a different uh, transfer function. You have the synapse in between, full synapse in this case. This network has been trained and is ready to be used. So we go back to the uh, initial screen and if we dive in inside the alkylation unit, I can now use a little menu here to start uh, off a certain date here. And as you will see on this graph here, on the blue line, on the, you will see the variable as it is read by the CSV uh, processing rule. And in red, you see the predicted value. And around this time here, uh, the system will make a prediction, will justify that prediction and warn the operator 30 minutes ahead of the incident. So here we go at 7 o'clock, it predicts that the temperature will go below some threshold. Half an hour later, the incident indeed occurs and you can see that as with this red event here. And to justify this prediction, the system has also created a, a second event here that is being associated with the main event to justify the fact that this prediction has been uh, created and in this case it's cre created because another temperature is below some some other threshold. Uh, if the operator is interested it can use even these uh, go-to facilities here to see which rule has generated this uh, prediction and can navigate into the system to check that indeed this event is created whenever this value is less than a certain uh, threshold value here. That's it for this presentation. Thank you for watching.